Hello to everyone. Morning, everyone. We've uh, we've moved. No, we I can't really see. That. <laughs> you can't see. I'll sh I'll put a picture on here in a minute. You can't hear me. As no. Soon as you've got your mic over there. No. So if I, if I do that, you can hear Jenny. Yes, but I've finished saying what I was saying. <laughs> and if I do that, then you can hear me. Yeah. Now that's the problem with directional mics. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> we've moved, and I've made some changes. Got a little bit fed up with the nonsense in there, so I shortened the lead somewhat. Still going out the window, but the reason we moved was that I couldn't get a satellite signal. Uh, so we moved up to what is it, 106? Yeah. And uh, we can get a satellite signal here. It's only a few meters, well, a couple of meters higher, but I think it allows us to get over the trees. I reckon a tree must have moved. A tree must have moved. <laughs> <laughs> must have done, we've They're not triffids, you know. <laughs> but uh, the satellite's in that sort of direction, and it's we can just about get over the trees, I think. Yeah. So, so that's the news for this morning. Have we decided where we're going today? Not yet. No, because we're <laughs> <laughs> moving about. No, we might go to Cartmel. Cartmel. Yeah, okay. But I'm not sure where it is yet. All right. And Poppy got Tara got a little bit worried, didn't you? Because yeah. we moved, she thought she yeah. were, we're going home, didn't you? Yeah. So we had to pack up a little bit, but we're all right. Yeah. And Poppy likes this spot because she can look out again. Yeah. So I've got a, a lock uh, LNB and the uh, this Astra satellite light up. So the acid test is to switch the skybox on. Let's see. See if we got something. It's a lot of. It is a pain out taking this box with us, isn't it? It's fine when it just works yeah. the first time, but uh, it does seem to restrict where, where you can go. Right, so skybox is on. That's the message you normally get. That's just uh, you're not connected to your router sort of message. Press the standby yeah. button on your remote. There we go. Yeah, so we got so we got a signal when we when I reconnected that light. So I thought, like light, light that cable, cable. Uh, and the satellite dish went round and round. So we watched a bit of telly, and uh, and some of the stations some right? of the stations went missing. And I looked at the signal, and it was sort of quarter uh, strength, and then it went completely. Yeah, so what's the signal strength now? So look. I'm going to settings. Go into settings, that's it. And then you go to where is it? Signal. Oh yeah, that's a really good signal now. Yeah, much better. And it was literally about there and there. Mm. <sighs> very weak. So there you are, Bob Earnshaw, satellite technician. <laughs> <laughs> One of many hats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> See you later. Right, so where we go? Cartmel. Cartmel Priory, is that? Well, that's part of it. It's probably a really nice little village. Yeah. And Cartmel Priory is uh, the main thing there, a 12th century priory. And Church, okay, and there's something called Cartmel Race Course. Oh, yeah, I don't know quite what that is. What's well, a race course? Well, it's still a race course. Well, I'd imagine so. If it's called Cartmel Race Course, <laughs> 190 yards, bear left, then turn left. And it's not very far, is it? It said no. uh, it's five miles away, yeah, two and a half miles, or 2.2 miles to be precise, from Grange over Sands, right? So, does it want you to turn left here? I think it does. No, I don't think so. It's going down the bottom there, isn't it? Right, right. I still can't see anything at this junction. That's it. No, when, I, bare left. when I looked, um, there were three, about three dog-friendly pubs. So okay, so... Well, you think you might go to a pub for lunch? We might do, yeah. Now turn left. 
Poppy and Tara's lunch with her somewhere. Yeah. Took us a while to get going, didn't I? The trouble with having a car is that you've then got to transfer everything that you need for into your day the car. out I know, into I know. the car. I know, it's, and then you realise you've forgotten something. Should have got a caravan. <laughs> no, because we'd have to do that every time. Oh, that's true, that's true. Every time we went out for a day out, we'd have to think, have we got everything with us? Yeah, yeah. The beauty going out in the van is that... You've you, got everything with us. You brought it with us in the first place, it's still with us. Yeah. Except that when you go out in the car... <laughs> Dilemmas. I don't think there's anything that's you know, perfect, is there really? No, no. No. I mean, if we were on a tour, we, we wouldn't have the car with us, yeah. would we? I mean, I've seen people who've had um, camper vans and caravans, haven't they? 300 yards at the T-junction, turn right, then take the first exit from the roundabout onto the A590 towards Barrow. Okay. So I've seen people with uh, camper vans who've had caravans because they're obviously thinking that I've got everything with me in the camper van and we've got yeah. a caravan we can go back to and use a camper van for day trips. But then you've got, you're going to have to have two of everything then, aren't you? Well, that's what I no, thought. Because right. then you've got, you know, you've got coffee in both. Have you got yeah, toilet food in, in both. both? Have you done the toilet in both, as you say? Yeah. Have you got enough water in both? Yeah. In so, 160 yards, take the first exit from the roundabout onto the A590 towards Barrow. What a hill this, isn't it? Fourth gear up here for the little up. Struggling with its little three-cylinder engine. Yeah. Park here. Park here. 
We want to go for the cow pop. Go for the cow pop. Um, I was sort of expecting the car park to be outside the village. Pay and display. No overnight tents and caravans are prohibited. This is actually the race course then? Yeah. Okay. Hook up there. Oh, let's go here. <laughs> Very pretty. Segways there. Eh? Yeah. Have a go on a segway. Poppy on it. You want to go on that, Pops? <laughs> Might be able to keep up with Poppy on the <laughs> No, I'm not sure how much of this you can see, but that's the race course, isn't it? What do we know about the race course? Now? I don't know anything about the race course. I didn't even know there was a race course here. <laughs> well, we're looking up. That's what we could do with, isn't it? Send Poppy and Tara off for a little holiday. <laughs> What's the race course again? Obviously it goes around there and it looks like it comes across here as well. It probably does. It or did there, at one yeah. stage where they take this fence down. Yeah. <sighs> Wander through. Medieval archway. Mm. Another pub here. Open for breakfast coffee. We're doing 9am to 11. Alright. Yeah. Go to the end. So this is the river EEA. Yes, we're not sure how to pronounce that, are we? I imagine it's EEA. <laughs> EEA. <laughs> oh, puppy. <laughs> There's the Priory. Yeah, or well, the church. Oh, the church. Of the church of the Priory, yeah. Let's have a look. It was very nice around here. You know, the fact that it's not raining or yeah. cloudy it helps. Oh, Foul the church out. Okay, let's we'll see what we can do. Oh. Eighteen seventy-five. Thirteen and the other one H1. Uh, yeah. Always the sound of a strimmer in the background, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> seems to have a strimmer with it, doesn't it? Yeah. The lawnmower. We've got the graveyard just back here. Very nice. Cloud up there looks a bit threatening. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Priory Church of St Mary and St Michael Cartmel, ancient jewel and living church. 
all for the dogs. And move the pets outside. outside. Okay. Shall I have a quick look? And yeah. You can have a look. Or you can have a look. Very nice. Remembrance of Frederick Charles Cavendish. Edward Cavendish, son of William, 7th Duke of Devonshire. Look at this window there. Beautiful. What to do with the Cavendishes? Unfortunately, you can't take dogs in into the church. Into the Cartwell Priory. Well, they do give you a little leaflet. Well, Jenny's gone round to have a look. A look round. I've had a quick look round. It's eight hundred years old. And lost most of the records in the dissolution of the monastery in 1537. So the Preston family acquired the priory in 1620 and started a major restoration. Additional work was carried out 1830-1860 and the Priory Church has continued to evolve. Alright, should be back in a minute. You didn't make this fuss when I went, did you? Okay. When uh, the Priory was going to be um, taken over and destroyed more or less, wasn't it, during yeah. the Reformation, yeah. Henry VIII, yeah. uh, there were about uh, ten of them that decided they weren't going to hand over the priory. Yeah. They all lost their lives trying to defend it. Defend it, it yeah. 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 They re they've rebuilt it uh, later on. Yeah. It's been, they've started rebuilding it in the 1800s. Yeah. Yeah, it's fabulous. And a setting as well, mm. in the little valley. Yeah. Right, let's go and have a look around the village. Got cheese shop here. Bobby, got cheese shop. Cheese of the week. Blue Stilton. Are you going to buy that? Oh no, I'm going to buy your pipe ground. It's Devon cheese. Oh, what a choice you've got in here. Lancashire cheese. I'll we'll say whether they're made with animal or vegetable rennet. It's a cheese lover's paradise, this is, isn't it? I think it's a cheese lover's paradise here. Yeah. <laughs> Great big rounds as well. Great British cheeses. Very nice. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks very much. See you again. The brewery here. Unsworth Yard Brewery. Mm. What a choice, eh? People come a long way when we get uh, Yeah, yeah. That's the brewery then, presumably. That's your brewery bit. This is it. Yeah. What are you talking about? No, no. No, he's going to eat his pasty. He doesn't care at all. Very nice. And you can try the beers here as well. So, got a couple of them. 
dark one, darker one, poppy one, and a blonde. Alright. Very nice. So what more can you need? Cheese and beer. That's, that's it, then we've got to go now, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like you can walk down by the river, doesn't it? Yeah, have a quick wander down here. In the Methodist church here. Oh, nice bit of sun. It's a lovely spot here. You can see it in here. It's quite dark in here, but it's very nice. This is the Cavendish Arms. Yeah. Tara's made herself out. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Mm. The onion ring on top of it. Hi, girls. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? I don't want to be in the picture. You don't want to be in the picture, why not? Come on, busy little, busy little place, isn't it? Is. Getting busier. Yeah. Right, that's it for today. Get back and uh, do a little bit of editing. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, we've well, been here about three hours because yeah. I've got three hours on the car park at three pound fifty. And I yeah. Thought, do we need all that? No. But we have. I mean, yeah. the time we walked around the village, walked around the priory, had lunch. Yeah. Around again. There's other things to see as well. Yeah. Right? I didn't go in the toffee shop. You won't let me go in the toffee shop. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's been good. So anyway, so if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, hit that notifications icon, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah, Glenn and Sharon arrive tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. We'll see you then. Yep. Bye. Bye.